Uh, the course profile, Mike, uh, that all the tracks are in a very, very confined area, winding their way in or out of the woods. Uh, often a little depressing to be going up a big climb to see your, your, your competitors going down the other side, only five or six metres away quite a tough course it is and you can see the trend from the start or the stadium area you climb up to this high point and then spin your way back to that back down the women are three times around a two kilometer track uh, with uh, prone shooting stand shooting in between uh, before they go to the finish and the men slightly longer at 2.5 kilometer so a total of 7.5 the mixed relay brought in uh, to the world championships back in uh, Antolts it was where they first had the uh, mixed relay in the major championships it was a huge success at the Olympics last year and I think the fact that we have 23 teams indicating that it's getting more and more popular we'll talk about the, the members of the teams as they get underway watch out for bib number one the Czech Republic who won last year and it was not luck it was a fantastic performance from them. Uh, they are a team that, that has now landed and a uh, new coach as well for the women as Zen Zenek Vitek is now uh, leading up the coaching there for the women's team and, and there's a still have this great energy from the Czech Republic team and well didn't they do so well at the world champs and liberates. Yeah missing Sukalova which I think might be uh, a major loss to them today she's uh, she's been a bit busy modeling and uh, d doing all sorts of media commitments throughout the summer and, and is quite happy to admit that she's missed out on training i'm slightly surprised to hear that but uh, i think we'll see her back and uh, a change of scenery can also be good for these athletes well let's go through the teams and their respective numbers uh, start of the season lots of them are in new suits norwegians <laughs> will be in red i can tell you that uh, if you look at uh, number one that's the czech republic in uh, blue um, Vitkova starting for them, 25-year-old, looking uh, pretty good. Um, and then we've got Ukraine wearing four, Russia five, France six. And uh, good to see that the two Foucault brothers are racing in the French team. And then we've got Slovakia seven, Belarus eight, USA nine, outsiders for a win. And the Austrians, who uh, have been a good relay team over the last few years, but still lacking on the female side. Through the first of the splits at 700 metres, Vitkova Crawford of Canada in second. She's made a lot of ground. Oberhoff for three, Sulemdal of Norway four, Bescon of France. Uh, the French always have so much potential in the relays. Uh, Let's catch up on the teams. Finland going well. Uh, they've got the current world champion or world uh, cup champion leading the way for them. Number 20, Kaiser Makarainen. She's been on good form in the trial races and just starting to wind it up now. And, and although I don't think she's pushing too hard for herself, I think she's making the others hurt. She is, and it took a lot of traffic for Makarainen to get through. So into the range for the first time. This is really the only flat part of the course. Round the top of the stadium, a 180-degree turn where most people start to just ease down and have a look at the wind conditions. Now, usually we have very interesting wind conditions for the beginning of the season. It's not uh, as bad as it was last year. It was unbelievable last year with the advertising hoardings going flying. The mats were being <laughs> all over the place. And in the end, the uh, races had to be cancelled. Who was it who was left on the firing point, oblivious to the fact that the race had been cancelled? I think it was Susan Dunphy of USA. So focused on her job, she didn't realise that everyone else had given up. So yes. Let's see how they go Maka down. Ryanen's missed the first two shots, and she has zeroed on that lane, and the wind has come. We, we heard at the start of the programme, no wind. There certainly is from the left now. Amanda Lightfoot, three out of three misses, number four. Canada going exceptionally well. That's a really good performance from them so far. Uh, they are clear, and they'll be back on the tracks. So I think Crawford could well be leading. Poland, Austria, Ukraine have all gone clear of the big names. Russia, Mike, with two misses. Remember, three spare rounds uh, to hit the five targets. Norway struggling, sorry, yeah, two spare yeah. rounds to go as well. Belarus, not such a good start. Who's the pressure on? Now, Canada, Italy, France, the leading three. And the French uh, will be very happy with that. Anais Bascon has done a good job so far. Well, these are the scenes in Ostersund. The first shoot completed in the first World Cup race of the season, the mixed relay. Remember the women going first, uh, they do two legs of six kilometres. The men going over seven and a half. And uh, the current Olympic champions, just in case you didn't know, the Norwegians.
and uh, I think they're the current world champions as well after a, a, a brilliant performance in, in Nova Mesco a couple of years ago. And Ace Pascal on the left of your screen in the black with the yellow flashes just uh, tucked in now behind Veronica Vitkova who's going really well and uh, it's the second leg for the Czechs that could prove problematic. Great to see Mikhail Schlesinger back in action after a disappointing year last year, lots of injuries. I think when, when skating came in back in 85, the, uh, the smart teams realised very early on that you needed to do a lot more core training than you had done before. So let's focus on shoot number two and uh, number six, that's an ace Biscont from Morbier in France, who's first to strike, the Slovakians and the uh, Canadians. Good shooting, remember, from Canada's Rosanna Crawford on the prone shoot, and she's hit four out of four so far. She could be taking the lead on her own after the second shoot. No, she's thrown number five wide, so spare rounds needed by her. And five of the top six teams needing spares. Sweden with a chance of coming back into this one, but they've thrown that away with another miss. Canada are away. Norway have missed two out of two now, Mike. Feeling the pressure on the range, and Amanda Lightfoot uh, missing, or well, getting three so far out of four shots. Brilliant, just one spare round to go. Down it goes. So France have cleared the five. And just looking, I can't see anyone who hit five with five, which is uh, normally the key to success. In this relay in particular, Mike, you cannot afford one bad leg at checkpoint. Uh, first one on this last uh, lap and remember the total distance six kilometers so they've got 1300 meters to go which will take them just about three minutes to get in and uh, Crawford of Canada only half a second behind that's been a really good leg from her I wonder whether uh, Zena Cocker can back that up and then give Smith and Bedar both of whom put in some good performances last year a oh, good little sprint coming in at the end of this first leg. Makarainen on the uh, left of your screen, holding on well. Karen Oberhofer in uh, the Italian suit that looks as though it should be a Norwegian suit. Uh, she's done exceptionally well. The Czechs are still up there. And uh, teams that have dropped down the order, that sh well, Germany not too bad. They're still in the top 10, only 15, 16 seconds behind. So they're still in with a shout. I'm trying to see... With how many teams have done penalty loops the Norwegians have been on the penalty loop uh, having missed six targets on this first leg that is more than they missed in the whole of the Olympic Games and in fact in the Olympics they only missed two targets in four legs I'd say I was a little surprised when I saw the start sheet Solendal first Ekhoff second um, I'm surprised it wasn't the other way around uh, Solendal she on her good days she shoots brilliantly well but she has more bad days than Tyrrell Ekhoff and you want to put your most reliable person normally in leg number in position number one I think they may have been thinking the first leg is often a game of cat and mouse and it's a little bit slower than the, than the second leg where some of the better athletes start to turn it on so maybe they're hoping to get back in contact at the halfway stage let's uh, have a look at the order Finland Czech Republic Italy one two three 18 minutes on the clock for 6.5